Simmons saga escalated when Shams Charania reported that Simmons, quote, believes the 76ers' tactics are worsening his mental health instead of supporting him and wants to deem him mentally fit in order to force him to play. The report includes pushback from an unnamed 76ers official who said the team is not trying to force anything and have provided him all the support they can. Meanwhile, Rich Paul, Simmons' agent, had this quote, I truly believe the fines, the targeting, the negative publicity shined on the issue that's very unnecessary and has furthered the mental health issues for Ben. Either you help Ben or come out and say he's lying. Which one is it? Strong words from the agent. I guess my question for, for Rich Paul and the Simmons camp is, does this help get him moved to another team? I, I don't... <laughs> I don't know. I'd like to backtrack a little bit. I just don't understand why you can't get in a room and apologize, own what you have to own. Uh, people make mistakes. Things happen. They have a chance to win a championship. You know how hard that is. They have a chance to win the East, do something special. Um, but, I mean, he'll be hard to trade for in this situation, too. Sure. So it's not just the, the, the 76ers. It's the other teams that they think he might go to and change the situation. So fix it where it's at. Uh, you know, forgiveness is a good thing. It's okay. You can do that. You can forgive somebody and move on um, and, and become the best possible team you can become for Ben's future and for the teams. So I, I get frustrated with it because um, I think anything can be fixed, and, and I just hope it gets fixed. You know, I can see where maybe Simmons and Rich Paul feel like they were backed into a corner a little bit. I don't know, but I don't see how this helps them achieve their goal moving forward, which is to find him a new NBA home. I, I think none of it helps any of it. I, I think this is just a back and forth between two people who are very stubborn. And, and obviously, you know, Daryl Morey has to do what's best for the Sixers. And Rich Paul has to stick with his client, right, for good or for worse. So for me, they got to decide, like, which one of them is going to back up and get this over with. This is distracting, right? This is like daytime TV, right, for no unnecessary reason. The Sixers are a good team. They have been playing good ball without him. They don't need as much as they think they, they do, and they're devaluing the player that they think they could get three picks or one pick or an all-star four. You're devaluing that. So for me, I understand. I, as a player, understand where Ben is coming from. The team wants to send their people to get you in a room to say, oh, you can play. Somebody, if, if, if you and I don't have trust, how am I going to trust that you're going to put me in a situation to be successful out there? Right. And the city of Philly is done with Ben Simmons. I'm not going to speak for them, but I'm pretty sure I played there enough where they're like, if you don't want to be here, get up out of here. So it's a, it's a lose-lose situation. The longer you hold this out, trade him, get somebody who wants to be in there, allow him, to, because there's more pressure on Ben Simmons, and I'll stop, there's more pressure on Ben Simmons when he goes to the next team to be successful. That's a lot of pressure on him. So here, go, and then bring somebody in, and let me take Joel Embiid and this team, this really good team, and let's go win a chip. I know you don't have a crystal ball, but for both of you, how likely is it that Simmons ever plays for the Sixers again? Zero percent. I, w I would assume maybe one game to show he can run up and down, but other than that, I would say zero percent. I... I hope not. You know what? I, I'd love to see him come back and, and play and be part of that team. Maybe it's too far gone. But, you know, it's, he, he's a different style player. Yeah. He has a different game. You can call him a point forward. You can call him a point center. You can, you know, wherever he goes to, there's an adjustment. And, uh, and they're going to send something back to Philly, too, right? So it's just not that easy yeah. to do it. And um, he's sitting out in his prime right now. I mean, what a shame. Yep. What I think shame. because of the difficulty of the deal and the fines potentially yeah. mounting, I think he'll end up playing for him.